we've done uh, with the Alderman's help is we've taken um, this historic partnership of Lakeside Alliance, uh, this historic partnership that has placed uh, the uh, minority firms um, in, a, in a central position where they're no longer, they're kind of not on the, they're not on the side as, uh, as set aside, but they're uh, right in the middle of the, of the decision making. Um, and we're spending time having them go around the neighborhood to explain to people, we want you to work. And here are the opportunities that are here for you. And here are the requirements that are going to be necessary. And here are some supporters like the women in trades that I see your shirt there, Chicago Rocket, women in Rocket trades. You come with us to Lakeside Alliance to say, hey, if you want these jobs, we're here to help you. Um, and here to help you stay in and be successful Absolutely. and hopefully turn this into a profession. Um, you know, uh, not everybody, uh, you know, when I, not everybody, uh, not all of our children, we want so many of them that want to pursue college and want to go in that direction. We want them to do that. We want those opportunities to be there for them. But some of them uh, want to work with their hands. Uh, some of them can go into the trades, and what you um, and others have shown us is that these are not only great jobs, but they're great careers. Absolutely. Um, and I think that this is uh, a, yet another opportunity for us um, to uh, make some of those promises real. Thank you for that. Can I just come back one quick second, Mark? Is yes. Okay? Um, there's one thing that's missing. I, the alderman took a lot of hits, and she's been uh, an advocate. And, and we really need to help because they're, they, they're throwing arrows at her. But also the quantifying of the numbers, if this doesn't happen, how much would be lost economically? You, you can Absolutely. quantify that Good. in the billions. Okay, guys, stop. We don't. From golf course to Obama Center, we're talking billions moving forward, not only looking back, but lost opportunity costs. We can quantify that in the billions. So those who oppose in opposition, what is your contention? What is your advance? Because we can provide all the, the metrics or the positive, and of course, the negative impact. But again, what is your contention? So we can quantify it. So again, for everyone that's here, there's arrows thrown at the Obama Fund. There's arrows thrown at you all. And Alderman, I have to say that. And I don't have to patronize you. You stood firm, but we also have to show up for you. So I look forward to visiting the Obama Museum because I'm going to be very close to there. Awesome. Thank you so much for uh, thank you so much for saying that. And uh, I cannot wait for the day that those doors open in that museum and for you to walk in and just to see what is possible. Yeah. That's the story. Thank you. Yeah. Akil, you going to be there, right? You going to be there when we open it up? I'll see you there. I will see you there. <laughs> Go Yoda on you. There's no try. Just, just be. Yes. Hi. Um, good evening, afternoon, everybody. My name is Lily Matthews. Um, and as I just heard this beautiful young man about to go to school, start school, and he's supporting uh, the Obama Library, I work for Youth Safety Violence Prevention. So I understand about the evaluational process of the save the birds and save the butterflies and save the ants and the trees and my, what about saving the lives of our young youth that are in the wood line and High Park area? Am oh, I going to be, are we going to be? Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, Sit down. I'm, I am sorry I'm a little bit late. Uh, 
I am sorry I'm a little bit late. It is so good to see all of you. I hope everybody had a good summer. Huh? Yes? I had a great summer. And, uh, and it's, it's, uh, it's not quite over yet, uh, although it will be over quicker in Chicago than it is uh, in some other places, because it can get cold here, let's face it. Um, Michelle sends her love. Malia and Sasha say hi. Uh, Bo, Sonny, they all send her love. Um, I haven't seen many of you uh, in a month, a couple months. Uh, in some cases, I haven't seen you longer than that. Uh, the, the main purpose here is for me to say thank you uh, for the extraordinary efforts and support that all of you have put in in making us uh, a step closer to what I believe will end up being uh, one of the uh, wonderful institutions of Chicago. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not going to be able to single everybody out here, but I want to just single out a few people that I see, just because I haven't seen them in a while, or uh, they were extraordinary. Uh, our older woman, uh, Leslie Hairston, uh, has been uh, and, and could not uh, have been more helpful. Uh, I've got to acknowledge uh, Tim and Zenobia Black, because uh, as our resident historian, I don't know exactly what Tim eats, <laughs> but he basically looks the same as he did when I first met him, like, what, 35 years ago? Uh, so the only person who looks better than him is Zenobi. So it, it is, uh, but, but for those of you who don't know Tim, uh, you know, he has chronicled uh, the, the remarkable journey of uh, the south side of Chicago for many, many years, and uh, we're, we're lucky to have him here. Um, so, just thought I'd give you a shout out to Tim. Um, by the way, I see a dear friend, uh, George Rainey, there, who I've not seen in uh, a long time. So, I'm, I'm thrilled to have him here, and I'm going to look forward to, to say he, he was one of our. Uh, great civic leaders when I was here and has not stopped uh, all these years and, and was one of my earliest supporters, so I just want to give him a shout out. Um, I, I've said this before, but I want to repeat it. Um, I got my start right here. This is where I became a man. This is where I learned how to uh, work in communities. This is where I came to the belief that um, when you, you involve people and engage people and empower people, that good things happen. Uh, my first apartment is literally down half a block down the street, uh, 51st and Blackstone. And I did not have a, uh, an actual bed. I had a mattress that I would roll up and put in the closet every night, and then or every morning, and then unroll uh, in the evenings, uh, which saved me having to make my bed. Uh, but also it was because I was broke. Um, this is where I learned how to organize. This is where um, I was baptized. This is where I met my wife, who grew up um, about a mile from here. This is where my children were born. This is where I purchased my first house. This is where I won my first political race. This is where I lost my <laughs> own political race. Uh, this was the base from which I was able to launch a U.S. Senate race. Uh, and this was the foundation upon which I ran for president. Uh, this community has given everything to me. 
And so when Michelle and I talked about where are we going to put our library, our museum, uh, center, our activities, uh, there was really no other choice for us than here. And um, what we also said to ourselves is, how do we give back? How do we make sure that this, uh, this center, this museum, is uh, a tribute to, not us, but a tribute to all the people and the forces and the community that helped to make this uh, so special? Um, how do we make sure that it is a museum that is consistent with uh, the extraordinary collection of museums we have uh, along this lakefront? Uh, how do we enhance uh, historic Jackson Park so that it becomes a vibrant, vital place for families and our young people, uh, and it matches the extraordinary activities that so often we see in other parts of the city but don't always see here? Um, how do we shine light on the history of this community so that all of Chicago comes to appreciate the contributions that have been made here? Um, how do we make sure that the community benefits from our presence? Because if we're attracting uh, half a million or a million visitors, uh, presumably they're going to want something to eat. <laughs> and they're going to want uh, to, to learn more about uh, the businesses and the arts and uh, all that the South Side has to offer. Uh, Play golf too. Well, there you go. And so, and so this is, uh, this was the, uh, this was our intention, but, you know, I've never built a presidential library before. And so what was important for us was to make sure that how we did it was consistent with that message I learned when I was 25, 26 on the South Side, which is making sure that we're involving the community in the process. And uh, we were lucky and blessed that we had people, some of whom I've known for years, like Leon Fay, who master organizer par excellence, uh, you know, that, that we're still you know, doing good work here in the community. Um, young leaders who we hadn't met before because they weren't born when we got here. But, <laughs> but uh, we're emerging uh, and, and giving voice to the hopes and aspirations of, of uh, a new generation. Uh, and, uh, and, and that's what you know, we've been able to do, is to draw on all the talents, all the gifts of so many people, from educators to uh, nonprofit leaders to elected officials to clergy, the University of Chicago has been an extraordinary partner in helping us uh, think through how uh, to, to design this. And at each stage, the designs have gotten better and better and better because all of you knew what it is that the community needed, better in some cases than we did. And all of you uh, weren't shy about telling us <laughs> what you thought uh, was needed in order to make sure this was effective. So. Um, so, so the main message I guess I have here today is that um, we are, thanks to all of your efforts, uh, close to getting this thing going. And uh, it is going to be not a quick project. Um, uh, it, it turns out that uh, building something is, takes a long time. Um, but as you've seen, I think, from the images and the design meetings that we've had and so forth, not only do we expect this to be uh, the kind of museum that makes Chicago and the South Side proud, a companion to uh, the Museum of Science and Industry, so that you have a, a, a museum campus 
south that can match with the museum campus downtown. But the enhancements that we are going to be bringing to the park, uh, the, 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 the landscaping, the, the facilities, the gardens, the Michelle's Gardens, uh, <laughs> the ability for us to partner with schools, the ability for us to uh, fill this you know, magnificent part of the city up with people and life and activity um, uh, it is something that uh, I, I'm hoping generations uh, of, of Chicagoans uh, are going to enjoy uh, for years to come. And it will it, it can potentially be an anchor for the kinds of uh, uh, renewal and economic activity and opportunity that uh, so many of you have worked for uh, for so very long. Uh, and you know, uh, we are going to continue to uh, work with all of you uh, to make sure that uh, this uh, gets done on schedule, on budget, because that's something I really care about. Um, but we're well on the way to, to raising the money that's necessary uh, to make it happen. Uh, and my hope is that uh, you will be as fired up and as ready to go to get this thing moving and, and get it done as, uh, and, as you have, have been uh, throughout this process. So uh, thank you so much to all of you for uh, everything you've done and everything that uh, I know you will continue to do. So uh, I've got to go because... I've got to go raise some more money. <laughs> uh, but uh, but I, I love all of you. Uh, I see you, Reverend Love. <laughs> Just a quick story, Reverend Love, uh -oh. his church is a little bit further south. He is also one of these guys who has an age. Because um, he looks pretty much like I did when I knocked on his door in 1986, probably, uh, trying to get uh, Lilydale Baptist Church involved in um, the, the organizing project I was doing on the south side. And he took me in and he was nice to me and thoughtful and asked me questions. I know later from interviews he's done that he thought, this guy is too young and has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> but he was so gracious and kind at the time to make sure that uh, he didn't crush my spirit. So, yeah, we appreciate you, Reverend Luck, for that. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. We're going to uh, have people keep their seats because we had a question and we want to keep that going, keep the conversation going. So just keep your seats as uh, President Obama heads out. Thank you.
dream 